OpenAI QSTARS Project Strawberry has been leaked. Finally an explanation. And in this video, I'm going to give you just a little overview of who Sam Altman is, OpenAI, and what this project means for me and you. Like, why is it important in the first place? So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So Sam Altman, right, is an American entrepreneur and investor. Uh, he's best known as the CEO of OpenAI since 2019. He is also the chairman of clean energy companies, Oclo Inc. and Hillion Energy. Altman was born in 1985 in Chicago, Illinois, and grew up in St. Louis, Missouri. He showed an early aptitude for computers, learning to code and take apart hardware at age eight. Altman attended the elite John Burroughs Prep School in St. Louis, where he came, you know, he came out, right? He came out at the age of 16. After two years studying computer science at Stanford University, Altman dropped out in 2005 to co-fund Looped, right? A location-based social networking app. He then joined startup accelerator Y Combinator in 2011 and became its president from 2014 to 2019. In 2015, Altman co-founded OpenAI as a nonprofit to develop safe artificial intelligence. He became CEO in 2019 under his leadership. OpenAI has released groundbreaking AI models like GPT-3 and ChatGPT. Altman is a you know proponent of universal basic income and has predicted AI could generate 13,500 per month in UBI within 10 years. Uh, Altman has been compared to tech visionaries like Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. He's considered one of the leading figures of the current AI boom. Uh, Altman is also a you know a prepper who owns uh, gold patch of land and uh, you know many other things. So. That's a little bit about Sam Altman. Let's get into OpenAI. So OpenAI is an American artificial intelligence research organization founded in 2015. We talked about it, right? And headquartered in San Francisco. Its mission is to develop safe and beneficial artificial general intelligence, AGI, right? Highly autonomous AI systems that can outperform humans at most economically valuable work. So key points, right? OpenAI was founded, uh, you know, it's, you know, founding and mission, uh, you know, OpenAI was founded in 2015 by a group of researchers and entrepreneurs. Elon Musk was one of them, right? And Sam, Sam Altman, right? <laughs> With the goal of developing safe and beneficial AGI, right? We just said this. So it was originally structured as a nonprofit, but later transitioned to a for-profit model with a parent company called OpenAI Inc. Microsoft is now one of OpenAI's largest stakeholders, having invested over 13 billion in providing computing resources through its Azure cloud platform. So products and research, right? OpenAI is known for developing large language models like GPT, as well as text to image models like DALL-E and text to video models like Sora, right? Their most well-known product is ChatGPT, an advanced AI chatbot released in 2022 that can engage in human-like conversations on a wide range of topics. So OpenAI conducts research in areas like generative models, AI safety, and aligning AI AI systems with human values. Now, there are some controversies and challenges, right? In 2023 and 2024, OpenAI faced multiple lawsuits over alleged copyright infringement related to the training data used for some of their products. They, you know, there have also been concerns raised about the potential misuse and negative impacts of OpenAI's powerful AI technologies. Overall, OpenAI is a leading AI research company aiming to develop safe and beneficial artificial general intelligence with a range of high profile products and an ongoing focus on AI safety and alignment. So OpenAI is reportedly working on, again, now we get into the juicy, the juicy. OpenAI is reportedly working on a new AI project codenamed Strawberry, which is believed to be a continuation or evolution of the previously leaked QSTAR, right? the project, the QSTAR. Here are some key points about this project. But before I proceed, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button. So the project details. Strawberry is focused on enhancing AI reasoning capabilities. It aims to enable AI to plan ahead, navigate the internet autonomously, and conduct deep research. The product or the project is described as a novel approach to AI models. Now, 
Here's the connection to Q-Star. Strawberry was formerly known as Q-Star, right? Q-Star was rumored to be a significant reasoning breakthrough that sparked internal conflicts at OpenAI in late 2023. Now let's get into the technical aspects. The project involves a specialized post-training process to adapt base models for improved performance in specific areas. It has similarities to Stanford's self-taught reasoner, also known as STAR method, right? Which allows AI models to bootstrap themselves into higher intelligence levels. Now let's get into some of the potential capabilities. This is what got everybody in an uproar. Ooh, ee, 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 potential capabilities. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so strawberry models are intended to not just generate answers, but to plan ahead and navigate the internet autonomously, right? The technology aims to improve AI's understanding of the physical world and solve complex step-by-step -step problems reliably now the secrecy and development secrecy and development right details about strawberry are are tightly guarded even within OpenAI. the project is described as a work in progress with no specific timeline for public release that's because they're trying to hit you guys with it right implications OpenAI believes that improving reasoning capabilities is key to achieving human level or superhuman AI intelligence. The development of Strawberry could potentially lead to significant advancements in AI's problem solving and research capabilities. Now, it's important to note that much of this information comes from leaked documents and anonymous sources, so some details may change or be clarified as more official information uh, becomes available. Project Strawberry differs from other OpenAI projects, right? Because there's just so much that goes on. So much, so much, so much. So this is how it differs from other OpenAI projects. So it's focused on advanced reasoning, right? Strawberry is specifically designed to enhance AI's reasoning capabilities, aiming to make AI thinking more similar to human cognitive processes, right? This focus on improving reasoning skills sets it apart from the other open AI projects that may have different primary objectives. Now, in the comment section below, let me know, why do you think they wanna keep this so secret? Is this really something that they should be secret about? I don't know. So, uh, and then there's the autonomous research capabilities, right? Strawberry is being developed to autonomously scan the internet and perform deep research. This ability to independently search and evaluate large quantities of data distinguishes it from the other AI models that rely more heavily on pre-trained knowledge. And then there's the long horizon task planning, right? The, uh, the, the project aims to improve AI's ability to perform long horizon tasks, right? The LT LHT, which require planning and executing a series of actions over an extended period. This focus on complex multi-step problem solving is a unique aspect of Strawberry. And lastly, a specialized post-training process, right? Strawberry involves a novel post-training phase that adapts base AI models to enhance their performance. This approach differs from the typical training methods used in other open AI projects. So, that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you in the next video.